Hi, and welcome to SSU. My name is Elizabeth O'Brien, and I'm the director of the Seawolf Service Center. Today, I'd like to go over the top five important things to know about the Seawolf Service Center. The first important thing is payments. We take most payments for the campus, including mandatory registration charges and housing fees. As you register for classes, charges will appear on your account. The charges are due upon receipt and are mandatory. In addition, some classes have course fees that will add charges on your account. If you're a non-resident student, there will be a per unit fee in addition to the mandatory in-state fees. Be sure to check the schedule of classes for more information on registration charges and the online academic calendar for the fee payment deadlines. The $200 first semester enrollment reservation deposit paid to hold your spot at SSU will apply toward the mandatory registration charges. Payments can be made online by credit card or e-check, by mail, typically a check, in person by cash, check, or credit card, or over the phone by credit card. If students don't pay registration charges, they're subject to disenrollment, i.e. they're dropped from their classes with limited ability to re-enroll. There are some exceptions to disenrollment, the first being financial aid students. You must have a verified financial aid award offer from the office with an amount sufficient to cover all of your registration charges. Contact financial aid to determine your eligibility or with any questions. Financial aid pays out in accounts during the first week of the semester and pays out registration fees first, housing next, and any other outstanding fees last. If there is money left over, it will be refunded to the student via direct deposit or mail check. If financial aid doesn't cover all of your fees, you must pay the remainder of your charges by the published deadlines. Scholarship students. You must have enough internal or external scholarship money to cover all of your registration charges. Students with external scholarships must provide that information to the scholarship office in order to be included in the database. And last is third-party sponsors. This is Voc Rehab or waiver, uh, Veterans Waiver students. You must ensure that all appropriate documents are in place prior to payment deadlines or front your payment to hold your classes. The second important thing is e-bill statements in the Privacy Act. All monthly statements are sent electronically to your Seawolf email. They're not mailed. Therefore, it's important to check your Seawolf email frequently. FERPA, the Privacy Act, prevents my office from detailing your account to your parents or guardians, so it's important to maintain close communication with them. Students may provide access to your parent and guardian. However, it is the student's responsibility to ensure your account is paid by published deadlines. The third important thing is ID cards. We issue the Seawolf ID card and validation sticker each semester after all registration charges have been paid. The sticker gives access to the library, the health center, and the recreation center. The ID card is also used as your room key, to access your meal plan, and to use Wolf Bucks. Wolf Bucks are optional and can be added to use any dining venue, vending machines, laundry, bookstore, and recreation center. Your ID card has value. So if it's lost or stolen, there is a $30 replacement fee. You must report lost ID cards to the Seawolf Service Center or Dining Services immediately to freeze the account. The fourth important thing is parking permits. Parking permits can be purchased online or in the Seawolf Service Center beginning August 1st for the fall semester. We encourage permit purchase online as lines are very long during move-in weekend and the first weeks of the semester. The two different permits available are H for housing students and the G or general for students living off campus. The last important thing is that we are also the official lost and found on campus. So if you've lost or found an item, please come visit us. We place work orders for the campus, such as maybe your dorm closet doors are off the track. By placing a work order, facilities will come out and repair or replace the item. In closing, we're located in Salazar 1000. Our office hours are listed on our website. Please visit our website for more information on the services we provide for the campus. Come see us and again, welcome to SSU.
Thank you.